stupid hot. I don't want to be out here right now. We took care of every, all the animals this morning. We watered the garden this morning. We watered inside the greenhouse this morning. We watered um, the, the uh, hay bed in the back and the loofah and the melons and sunflowers and all that stuff. We did all that stuff this morning. So I want to do a video today, but it's going to be in my kitchen. That's right. I am going to take you into my kitchen and show you how I make my most favorite and versatile roll recipe ever. So let's head on in the house. All right, the first thing I'm gonna do is add one cup and two teaspoons of very warm water. Then I'll add a quarter cup sugar and one third cup oil. And then after the oil is in, I'm going to add two tablespoons of dry active yeast. Once I am done with this, I'm going to stir it all up. You don't have to stir it much, I just like to stir it enough that I can't feel the sugar anymore. Once that's all stirred up, I'm gonna head on over to my oven and I'm going to set a timer for 10 minutes. Now during this 10 minutes, I'm going to take one egg beaten and add one teaspoon of salt. And then once the 10 minutes is up, I will add it to my yeast mixture. Once that's added, I head on over to the mixer. With my paddle attachment, I'm just gonna stir that up just for a minute, not long at all. And then I'm gonna start adding my flour. This recipe calls for three to four cups of flour. I'm using all purpose flour. You don't have to, that's just what I'm using. Now, it says three to four cups of flours, flour. Y'all wanna add that in slowly. Don't add it all in together. Remember, you can always add flour, but you cannot take away flour. So don't feel rushed and take your time and add this how you feel comfortable. I added it pretty slowly. Hopefully I will get better at adding it faster, but I've made the mistake of adding too much and then having to throw all my ingredients away. And y'all know it is so hard to find yeast right now. Flour is getting easier, but yeast is getting so hard to find now that people seem to be baking more at home. So I'm just gonna continue to add more flour as I feel it is needed. We just wanna make sure that our dough is not sticky. Sometimes it wants to stick to the side of the bowl. You can scrape it down if that happens and then just add more flour and continue on mixing and you should be fine. Looks like it's getting pretty close to being done now. Nice little dough is beginning to form. I'm gonna continue to add some flour though. Just checking it out, seeing how sticky it is. If you want, you could just set three to four cups of flour aside and just add from that. And that way you're not taking it away from like your big um, container of flour that way you don't get uh, confused um, maybe forgetting how much you've added in so far all right so I think I'm gonna add a little bit more flour here seems to be a little bit sticky and then I think that's gonna be good to go. I'm gonna mix it up just a little bit more. Checking to see how it feels. Checking to see how it feels is, is really is a really good way of getting this done. See how the dough is trying to fly out of my bowl? That means it's good to go. <laughs> so now we're gonna switch from the 
a paddle attachment to our dough hook attachment. That paddle attachment is what's mixing everything up and your dough handle attachment, which I am so happy to have, is what needs your dough. You don't have to do this. You can knead it by hand, but this is just a huge time saver and I love, love my dough hook attachment. It is such a blessing to have. So we're gonna need that for eight minutes. And while that is getting ready, I'm gonna go ahead and oil my pan. I'm using a glass pan. I've also used cookie sheets. I prefer the glass pan. All right, so we are ready to mess with our dough. I have lightly floured my hands. Now I'm going to lightly flour the parchment paper I will be putting my dough onto. This dough is such a nice feeling dough. I can't even believe it. Every time it comes out so nice. Now I am going to be hand kneading my dough a little bit. Y'all don't have to do this. Y'all can just go straight to cutting your dough and forming whatever you're gonna make. But I really enjoy kneading dough. I find it very satisfying. I used to be a baker in a bakery and I just love kneading dough. <laughs> And I like to have my dough in a kind of like a nice, a nicely formed ball when I go to cut it. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and form that into a ball, bringing all the edges into the middle and pulling it tight in the center. And I'm gonna flip it and then I'm going to cut it. Now y'all don't get too hung up on the cuts, how many cuts I have, what size they are. I know when I used to watch YouTube videos, I would just go over and over again like, oh, are my cuts like theirs? They don't have to be. Now one thing you need to do is when you do cut them on the cut edge, you need to add flour because it will be sticky. This recipe I found on a YouTube channel called Living Traditions. I will link Sarah's video below. Uh, she does this recipe and you can use it for hamburger buns, dinner rolls, hot dog buns. It is a very versatile recipe. I have made hamburger buns with this recipe and dinner rolls and I absolutely love it as a dinner roll recipe. Now I'm just gonna start forming my dinner rolls, getting them as even as I can so much fun doing this. I really hope you guys try this recipe. It is going to be a game changer. All right, so I'm going to get, I believe, 15 rolls from this, which is such a great number out of this dough. That is an awesome amount of rolls because you can have some now and then freeze some for later and I'll get to that at the end of the video. All right, I have all of my rolls done. Now, go ahead and preheat the oven and then when the oven is preheated, stick the rolls in and that's about all the rise time they need. It's awesome. And they're out for 15 for 10 minutes and they are beautiful. Now, this, these are my thing for earth bags. This is the bag I freeze my bread in. It's awesome. And the canvas bag, which I'm about to show you, is a bag I use for everyday use. If you wanna check these out, go to www.thinkforearth.com. All right, y'all, that's gonna be it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. It's something I've never really done before, but wanted to try. I hope that you guys try the recipe for the rolls. You won't regret it. Anyway, thanks for stopping by my channel. Bye, y'all.